just kidding. I beat on Paladin so much, I had to show love. Um, Warlocks are one of those classes we wanted to take a really hard look at with the new talent system, because we thought once some of those kind of signature abilities are available to any Warlock, you're really left with, like, a bunch of guys that are kind of using similar spells and doing, doing similar things. We really thought there's a lot of room to kind of push Affliction, Demo, and Destro away from each other a little bit. So the way we're going to try this is we have a unique resource for every spec. We're going to keep Soul Shards for Affliction. We like the improvements made for Soul Shards and Cataclysm. Um, we totally agree with the feedback that they're not quite interesting enough, and we have some cool ideas for them. But Soul Shards will be something Affliction uses. If you pick Affliction at level 10, you get Shards. If you pick Destro or Demo, you're going to have something different. Demonology is a new resource called Demonic Fury. You build up Demonic Fury by doing stuff, and when you hit max Demonic Fury, you then metamorphosize. So rather than it being a cooldown, you can try to build it up constantly. You can try to be in demon form a little more often. We're going to do some new cooler abilities that you get to have in demon form. We think this will make the, um, the spec just play very differently. And we have a new resource for destruction. Destruction has always been a little tricky to design because it kind of feels like, hey, I'm the warlock who thinks he's a mage. <laughs> and we just don't think that's a rich enough kit for, for Destro. We feel like Destro's been... Um, could stand to have a little more excitement going on. What Infernal Embers are, as you can imagine, the Destro Warlock who keeps casting fire spells slowly, like, gets hotter and hotter and eventually catches on fire. And when you hit this fire space, then your conflags do, like, really crazy damage. The, uh, the problem with ever having those big destruction nukes be too powerful is the burst issues we have. But if you have to build up to get to that point, we think we can handle throwing some really massive conflags out there. So this will be the kind of thing, again, um, you can build it up pretty quickly, hit your big nuke, and then build it up again. We think this will be uh, just a lot more fun overall to play the spec. And then if you want to switch specs to Affliction or Demo, you're going to feel pretty different. Shaman. This isn't a really big section, but... We think totems are a really cool mechanic, but we agree that it's not so fun to like constantly be dropping, I need my strength of earth, I need whatever, just to, just to do competitive DPS or healing, and just to kind of be the, you know, the buff bitch for everyone else in the group. <laughs> we'll still keep the concept of buffs, you'll still bring them with you to a group, but it'll just be something you can have innate or, or cast like Arcane Inch or something like that. We want all totems to be about utility. And that means we have to fill in the design space a little bit with some new totems. So we have an earth grab totem that does a big root around it. We have the crazy repulsion totem that keeps people from getting close to the, the shaman or wherever they put the totem. And then we have the bulwark totem which puts a shield on the shaman and helps them to, to take a little more damage. And when we talk about the, the shaman talent tree here just a little bit, you'll see how some of these totems fit into the talent tree. Some are core and some are talents you have to choose the exclusion of others. And druids. This is a pretty short section, but it kind of shows what we can do with this new spec and talent system we have. Um, druids always felt like they had four specs, so now they do. Feral stays as the cat-based melee DPS spec, but we're adding a new spec called Guardian, and this is the bear spec. There'll still be a lot of overlap between the two. Um, some of the fun of playing the druid is, is the flexibility, and in fact, when we talk about the talent trees, you'll see they're really trying to go after the player who wants to be able to shift around in lots of different forms. So there'll be a lot of overlap between the, um, the Feral and Guardian spec, but overall, if you want to be the tank for your group, you would probably want to pick Guardian. And all druids can still go cat or bear form. You're not losing that ability. All right. Just because we didn't mention you, I still want to think that we're not doing anything for you in Mr. Fandaria. We have done a massive spellbook cleanup. We've gotten rid of some more junk. We've tried to find roles for some of those spells that never actually did anything. Uh, we want to clean up action bars a little bit, but not removing the fun things, just kind of removing the spell has such a very narrow niche that I don't use it often. Uh, rotations are improved, kind of how I mentioned for Warlocks, we're doing that pass on all of the specs, even if um, we're not changing your uh, core resource. You now automatically learn spells in the field, you don't have to go back and visit your trainer.
it always makes us cry a little inside to see a level 15 or 20 player going along and they have all these spells they haven't learned yet because it's just not worth it going back to the trainer. This feels pretty good. Trainers will still be there for things like respecking. Um, lots of new spells. There's a lot in the talent trees. There are a few new core spells where it makes sense. We're still thinking about getting, giving everyone a new level 87 uh, spell. Level 90, you'll get your final talent point, but we might give you a new spell at 87. Um, specs more developed, like I mentioned with the uh, Warlock and Druid. And overall, we really want talent trees to be fun. They shouldn't be a chore. They shouldn't be the thing you just, you know, look up on the internet to find your cookie cutter build. They should be something you can really obsess over and have a lot of fun with. And I think that wraps it up for us. Um, as you can see, the team has been crazy hard at work on this. Usually when we talk about a new expansion, we have a couple of concept pieces and that's it. But our, our artists, programmers, producers, the whole team has really been kicking ass trying to get this together. And um, we can't wait for you guys to, to get a look at it. You should definitely go play it. We have a lot of Q&A sessions coming up tomorrow where you can ask questions if, if um, we've blown your mind with all this information. And hope you enjoy the rest of the show. Thank you for attending the World of Warcraft preview panel. Up next, World of Warcraft Class Talent System panel, beginning at 2.15.